What is going on everybody? Welcome back to the City of Z once again. I will be your tour guide today and I hope you enjoy your stay. And today we're talking about DLC 1 for Call of Duty Black Ops 3, Dear Eisen, Dare Eisen uh the Ice Dragon, or people are saying Ice Kite. Now, whatever the name is, it doesn't exactly matter. Today we're talking about some interesting things, some interesting things that could be hinting at Dare Eisen Drachen. Now, everyone has really been talking about this poster on screen right now. Uh, Escape the Tomb, seen on Mob of the Dead and Shadows of Evil, and even in the Origins ending cutscene on that poster, we see something that could be a dragon or could be whatever Cerebus, the dog on Mob of the Dead. Either one of those is a possibility, and in the background on the left, we see a castle. Now, this could be any castle, it doesn't have any resemblance to the one on uh, the castle, the map that we're going to be getting for DLC, Dare Eyes and Drop, and it doesn't look like that castle at all. It's more spiky and pointy, but people still are saying that this is some sort of Easter egg. Well, I think it still could be. I mean, Treyarch probably never intended for this to be an Easter egg come Mob of the Dead, but it certainly looks like one right now. They're hinting at a castle map a little bit, but, 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 if we're th saying that this is an Easter egg, what more is there? Escape the tomb. The castle is not a tomb normally. You don't normally associate a castle to a tomb. But, 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 another critical part of this Dare Eyes and Drachen map people are saying is the ice caves. Everyone's talking about the ice caves which are located near the castle in Warfin, which the coordinates from Shadows of Evil point to. And if these ice caves are indeed in the map, they are a tomb. I want to thank Bosnian for sh uh, showing this first, that's where I first saw it, but guys, the Eisenbrelt, whatever, <laughs> the caves, the ice caves near Werfen, Austria, were first discovered in 1879, but only explored for like the first 200 or so meters. Before this discovery, no one would go into the cave. The cave was known only to the locals who thought it was an entrance to hell. So. Once the cave started being explored, Alexander von Mork, uh, he started to really go into it and expand on the discovery, led several exped expeditions in 1912, but was killed during World War I, and an urn containing his ashes are hidden within the cave somewhere. A cabin, so to speak, within the cave. So that's very interesting. Now, you can go into this cave as a tourist and whatnot, which is really cool, and it's very spooky, very scary. So that itself would make an awesome little part of the map for zombies, I think. But the fact that there actually is sort of a dead guy's ashes hidden within there, that's pretty awesome. It makes sense, right? Escape the tomb. But why would we want to escape the tomb with this random German or Austrian explorer? I don't know, that literally wouldn't make any sense. I think it would just set the precedent, potentially, for someone's ashes being in the tomb. Someone from the storyline, someone we know. Who who could it be? I don't know. It could be maybe like, so, I, they could go with anyone at this point. The zombie storyline is so all over the place. It could literally be anyone. It could be Peter, it could be Maxis. It, but Maxis is like alive, who knows what's going on guys. But I just wanted to bring this to your guys' attention to see what you have to think about it. So make sure to leave a comment, make sure to leave a rating, and subscribe so you don't miss future Black Ops 3 Zombies information, gameplay, funny moments, etc, etc. I'll see you guys next time. Have a great day. Peace.